shooting death of Jethro, a Canton police canine, has touched a nerve with the police community as well as many of you. So there's now calls to stiffen penalties for the canine killer. Meantime, Derek Waller is live in Canton at the police headquarters. And Derek, an online petition is definitely making its rounds. Yeah, and as state senators say, they are now going to introduce some legislation to stiffen those penalties for people who kill police dogs after some online petitions got thousands of signatures and counting. Right, Canton police say Jethro was every bit a member of the force as his human handlers. Now, multiple online petitions are demanding Ohio state law better reflect that sentiment. More than 13,000 have signed this change.org petition started by a masculine woman. She wants to increase the current maximum penalty of three years in prison to life behind bars instead. Police say this man, 22-year-old Calantre Bearfield, shot Jethro three times after officers responded to an alarm call at a grocery store earlier this month. Outrage is overflowing online. Another petition says the death penalty should not be off the table. I'm pretty confident that would not be constitutional. Cleveland State Law Professor Jonathan Whitmer Rich tells me the death penalty has always been reserved for those convicted of killing people, not animals. But he says few other legislative changes are off the table. Legislatures really have a lot of discretion in terms of where they want to set penalties, so they certainly could increase the possible punishment for the killing of a police dog if they wanted to. State senators, including Stark County Republican Scott Olslager, are planning to introduce legislation to bring the penalty for killing a police dog closer to penalties for killing a human officer. I was here, you know, when we did have an officer shot and killed. Canton Police Chief Bruce Lover agrees life in prison is extreme, but tells me three years is not enough. We really believe it saved the officer's life. And I think uh, you'd have overwhelming support you know, among police officers, especially here at the Camp Police Department, it's strengthening that a bit, especially. And I did reach out to Senator Olslager's office. Someone in that office confirmed to me that they are working on legislation, but didn't release any details. I also reached out to Attorney General Mike DeWine and Governor John Kasich's office. Both of them, both offices, telling me that they are going to wait to see legislation before forming an opinion. Live in Kenton tonight, I'm Derek Waller, News Channel 5.